Hello everyone, this is a quick demo of the Melissa Virtual Network Assistant feature within Ruckus Analytics, our cloud service for network analytics and assurance for your Ruckus network. We have with us today Rajiv Iyer who will give us a quick demo. Hello everyone, hope you're enjoying the Ruckus Analytics product. It keeps better and better every day. Today I'm here to share along with Warren our latest virtual network assistant, Melissa. Melissa is a AI ML driven, uh, intent driven virtual network assistant. What that means is it is able to process natural language. It is able to interact with the admin and understand capture intent and help answer the questions that the admin might have. Let's see a quick demo. If you see to the right side of your screen, lower right, you will see Melissa icon right here. Click on that and you will see Melissa pop up. You can come in, greet, and Melissa will greet back with some questions that you can ask. It's not limited to just these questions. As I said, it's a learning virtual network assistant. It captures the intent. So it's asking me, how's my network today as a possible question. I can go ahead and ask, how was my network last week? So not only do I give Melissa a question that is outside of the suggested list, it, I'm asking it to capture my intent. The intent here is in the last week. So Melissa has to go back and find what the date is today, go back a week, then pull the data for the network. It's firing off multiple queries in the backend and aggregating all that information in one answer and present it, presenting it to you. So as you see, the admin can save a bunch of time instead of going and browsing multiple pages. You can also try something like, oh, uh, tell me about failures on the network. So here, Melissa needs to understand what failures means. And here, the intent is understood. It is figured out that failures might mean that these are incidents that are happening on the network. And it has done failures by priority, severity, as well as by different categories. So across infrastructure, performance connection, it's done that. It's also by severity. We can also ask Melissa something like, what is the busiest wireless LAN? And you have the answer given to you very quickly saying, okay, this is by traffic. These wireless LANs are carrying the highest amount of traffic. And these wireless LANs are busy because there are too many clients connected, like church, Christchurch free has 373 clients as of yesterday. You can also ask the, ask the same question what is the busy, what was the busiest WLAN or you can say SSID to understand the same thing. What was the busiest SSID last month? Now I'm asking a very broad question and it will need to go back to a query which is broad. Might take a couple more uh, minutes here, but what it's now doing is trying to gather that data, but over uh, period of last month. So it goes there, does all that, and you can see the answers have now changed. You can ask something different. You can say, hey, I want, I'm really interested in finding somebody. I'm trying to find this client and I don't, let's just pick David, right? Uh, it's a very common name. I'll just say find client David. I haven't told them whether this username or a host name. Let's see what Melissa comes back with. So it's finding a client named David and it's figuring that doing its best to say what, what they can, what it can find. And Melissa was smart enough to say, okay, there are 17 clients similar to David showing the last active one. I'm impressed, right? I, out of the 17 list, maybe the last active one is probably most useful. Here is the summary of the client. I got the MAC address 
and I got the connection duration, the client IP. Now the match is coming out of the host name, which has got dash David in the host name. There is MAC address, last AP name it was connected to. That's impressive. It's also got the last AP MAC. We also know that it's an OS iPhone. At this moment, it's disconnected. Average rate is 8.25 kbps, total traffic. Ah, this is even more interesting. I got the average SNR, max SNR, my min, minimum SNR for this client and the average RSS. So I'm getting pretty nifty information right here. And if you want to narrow your search query, you can also give it a MAC address and Melissa will surely understand that as well. So hope you found this demo useful please go ahead and play with it and let us know what you would like to see and that concludes our demo thank you